Hi everyone, it's me Nikki here with my shrimp and grits recipe. Now I live in Charleston, South Carolina and we just absolutely love our shrimp and grits and so I have tweaked and tweaked and tweaked this recipe to perfection and here is what I have come up with and I want to share it with you today. This is also a collab video with Julie from the YouTube channel Cooked by Julie. She has a beautiful YouTube channel filled with amazing recipes and her ability to teach you how to prepare them is just awesome. And she's going to show you how to make this wonderful shrimp remoulade so definitely check that out and I'll link that below. So let's start out by making our grits and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the grits in the crock pot. We're going to take some cooking spray and spray down our crock pot. I've received several requests to show how I make my grits in my crock pot. This is a great way if you want to make grits overnight. Now this method here I do not recommend for overnight but I do have a second uh, crock pot grits recipe that I will share with you also in the future um, where you can leave it overnight. This one you typically have to stir every hour. Now the key is you never use instant grits. You always want to stay away from instant grits when you're cooking your grits in the crock pot because they are going to cook slowly. They're going to be very creamy and one thing I love and we love here in Charleston is our creamy grits. That makes the recipe that's so important. So you're going to take one cup of your grits and you're going to add them into the crock pot. And then from that point you're going to take two cups of water and you're going to add that into the crock pot. Now from that point we're going to add in some things to make it creamy and one of those things is milk. You're going to add in one and a half cups of regular whole milk and also to make it even creamier we're going to add in a half a cup of heavy cream. Now the only other things that we're adding into our crock pot from that point is a teaspoon of salt and also a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And then once you have all of this in your crock pot, what you want to do is you want to give it just a nice little stir to get everything blended well together. And then from that point, we're good to go. We're going to cook it for four hours on low and we're going to stir every hour. Now two hours into cooking, you want to add a half a stick of butter into the crock pot and you know kind of blend it in and make sure it gets all melted. Now let's move on to our shrimp. From that point, you're going to take five strips of bacon, put it on a baking pan and bake it on 350 Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. We're then going to take our andouille sausage, and I love this spicy Cajun style andouille sausage. And this recipe is going to be on my blog at homewithnikki.com. So if you want all the measurements and all the details, you can print a recipe card there. But you're going to cut the andouille sausage into bite sized pieces. And then from that point, you also want to get a yellow, green, and red or orange bell pepper. Love the colors. And you're going to chop that up along with a white onion. And you want to just have nice little slices when you chop it up. Now from that point, we're going to go to to our saucepan. We're going to put a little bit of oil in the saucepan and we're going to saute the peppers and the onions and the andouilles and all of that together. It's such great flavors. It is really going to bring everything together. And you definitely want to saute it on medium high. Reduce the heat once you see that your onions are translucent. And then we're going to move on to adding in a tablespoon of minced garlic from that point and blend that in very well. We're now going to make our roux in a separate saucepan, otherwise known as our thickening agent. So you're going to melt a half a stick of butter and then a fourth a cup of all-purpose flour and continuously stir until you get a nice brown color and this is going to help thicken that sauce. Now to move on to our shrimp, you're going to clean your shrimp, you're going to add in about a teaspoon of cayenne pepper along with you want to add in a burst of flavor by kind of squeezing a lemon over your shrimp. And this is really going to give that shrimp that flavor it needs to add to the dish. We're then going to put the shrimp into our saucepan with our mixture and combine all of that together. We're then going to add our little thickening agent, our roux in, and then mix that in all together and it's going to be absolutely delicious. So just give it a nice little toss. Now we're not overcooking our shrimp because you don't want rubbery type of shrimp. Now we're going to take that bacon that we cooked and we're going to kind of crunch it up into bite sized pieces and we're going to add that into the pan. Now along with adding that into the pan, we're going to add in one cup of chicken broth and this along with a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and this is going to give another burst of flavor so you can see all this combined together is just really going to make for a great dish and so you give it a nice little stir and then you put your lid on and you're going to let it simmer for about two to three minutes just to let it thicken up and you're ready to serve your dish. You put those nice creamy grits 
in your bowl, top it with that shrimp, and it is amazing. It is a lot of flavor, it's totally delicious, it's really filling, and it's worth the effort. So I hope you have enjoyed me sharing my shrimp and grits recipe. Definitely go over to Cooked by Julie's channel. The link is below and check out her shrimp remoulade. And I hope you all are doing great. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.